If you need to record a refund for a customer or from a supplier to ensure your account balances are correct, you can record this in Sage One Accounting. You can post a refund against the standalone credit note from the banking or from within the credit note. You can post a refund against the standalone credit note from the banking screen or from within the credit note. If you want to refund a payment on account, you must do this through the banking screen. In this video, we'll be posting a supplier refund, but the processes are the same to create a customer refund. To record a refund through the bank, go to Banking, select the bank account the payment was recorded from, then click New Entry, and then select Sale slash Receipt. Click on Supplier Refund, and enter the name of the supplier who has issued a refund. You can then check the bank as the correct bank that the refund was paid into, and enter the date of the refund as well as the amount refunded. If you want to enter a reference for the refund, enter this in the Reference field. When you enter the name of your supplier, any outstanding payments on account or credit notes are listed. Tick the box next to the transactions that have been refunded. When you're happy with the information that you've entered, click Save. You can also record a refund against a credit note that has been entered into Sage One. To record the refund, go to Purchases, Purchase Credit Notes, and select the credit note you wish to refund. Click Record Refund, and enter the amount refunded. Select which bank account the money has been paid into, enter the date of the refund and any reference you would like to put with the refund. Once you're happy with these details, click Save. You've now successfully recorded a refund in Sage 1.